Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Hallelujah. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. I just want to share with you, amen, what's heavy on my heart today. Glory be to God. We're going to look at Romans, the first chapter, amen, in the 16th verse. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For there is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Glory be to God. We cannot be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it's the power of God unto man. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Saints, family, and friends. So many in this day and time is compromising the word of God. They're compromising, hallelujah, the standards of holiness, the standards of sanctification, hallelujah. Glory be to God. It seems like every day we see and hear something that just makes your mouth drop. It just makes you say, I just can't believe it. Hallelujah. But believe it because it's being done. He says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What is iniquity? Iniquity is sin. He said, man shall grow wiser, but wickeder. But saints of God, you and I have a responsibility. We have to uphold Amen, holiness. We have to uphold sanctification. We can't con con We can't condone sin. Amen. To condone sin would mean that you, amen, accept the sin, approve the sin, and even sometimes encourage the sin. At a minimum, amen, this means setting a good example for not engaging in sin ourselves and not placing ourselves in questionable situations, amen, or company. We are not to condone sin. Some of us are condoning sin. We're winking at it. We act like we don't see it, hallelujah. We just going on about our business, my God, but we cannot compromise sin. God has revealed, amen, his righteousness unto you and I, amen, through the word of God. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, he showed us what's right and what's wrong. And we have to take a stand in the time which we live. Amen. Some say, glory be to God, hallelujah, they don't say anything because they don't want to appear as though they're judging. Yes, we don't judge, but I can judge you by the word of God. God's given us, amen, a map. He's given us a blueprint. He's given us, hallelujah, of what it should look like what we should look like, how we should act, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. So if you don't line up with the word of God and I'm calling out your sin, I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you, hallelujah, by the word of God. The word of God is judging you, hallelujah. The Bible says thou shalt not. And that's what the word says you shouldn't do. So when I'm calling out your sin, it's not that I'm judging you, but I'm shining a light on the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he came, amen, to deliver us, to set us free. Saints, family, and friends, it's time for us to take a stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Take a stand. He's called you out of darkness into this light. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed to correct. Don't be ashamed, hallelujah, and afraid to say, what is right and what is wrong. The house of God, hallelujah, should be called a house of prayer, not a house, hallelujah, of, fornica of fornicators and adulterers, hallelujah, of lasciviousness, hallelujah, my God, and all manner of sin is taking place in the sanctuary amongst those that are calling themselves Christians, Born again believers, God says, cry loud and spare not. Saints, this is just so heavy on my heart as I see it everywhere. We're seeing it more and more every day how the body of Christ is compromising with sin. The body of Christ is compromising. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. With what is hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. What is right and what is wrong. 
God saying, hallelujah, omission and commission is the same, hallelujah. You got to be judged, hallelujah, according to your omission and your commission, hallelujah. Don't wink at sin. Don't compromise, amen, with sin. Because if you hide it, you're hiding it for them that is lost. Jesus, help us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care who it is. Mother, father, sister, brother. Hallelujah. Call out sin. Tell them you must come out of sin. Hallelujah. You must be born again. You must, hallelujah, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. That the Lord Jesus Christ is the Christ and he came to redeem you. When you see sin, don't just wink at it. Don't just act like you don't see it and keep going. Call it out. Amen. You are responsible. Amen. For those that God has connected you to. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even if it means you have to walk alone. John the Baptist, hallelujah, was one crying out in the wilderness. He was in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He wasn't looking for friendship, but he was looking for the one that will come after him, who he says, I'm not worthy, amen, to unloose his shoelace. My God, to God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't compromise with sin. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, help us. Help us. I love you. And may heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Thank you, Father.